here with Connie O'Brien from Tungsten Network, and we're going to talk about marketing automation in the age of robots. Hey, Amy, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. First, mm -hmm. can you explain a little bit about bots and what you think their role is in marketing today? So, I mean, I think that bots are going to have a huge role. Um, I'm not really quite yet embracing this whole idea that they are going to put many of us out of work, but um, I definitely think that from a um, from a user experience, from a customer experience, um, self service, um, understanding um, understanding how to better interact with the bot, um, with the company, the bot as the face of the company. I think that there's a lot that it can do in order to help drive self service. So what about bots from the prospective customer side of things? How do you think that they can make a better experience for those people? And I think, you know, self-service is going to be really important. So I don't have to necessarily um, get on the phone or click to call. I can sort of ask my question right then and there and the bot can kind of answer it. Um, I think that um, there's even a way around sales, around helping um, bots can help you to choose different things that you might be able to, you know, uh, lipstick color or things around um, um, how how you're able to put some description about yourself and being able to buy something in the retail world. Um, I know for us, bots are going to be important from um, operational efficiency and also in revenue stream from the perspective of someone saying that they have a problem um, and potentially how one of our um, one of our solutions can help them solve a problem or even for voice of the customer for the future, right? What it can do for new product um, building. What kind of bots do you use in your own life? So I use Siri a lot, but for the most part, um, I use it mostly for um, dictating texts or emails when I'm sort of busy driving. <laughs> it makes life so much easier. But it's all hands-free. Okay, fair enough. Every company wants to be more efficient. Every company wants to find a way to serve their customers better. And it sounds like you're taking the approach of using bots to create a better experience for your customers and for their customers. You know, we came up with a friction index. We partnered with um, IOFM and what we saw was that, you know, um, UK businesses are wasting an average of $88,000 every year, 88,000 pounds every year. Um, through outdated payment practices, and that's about 6,500 man hours. So if you think about how a bot could come into play to help streamline that, we think it's really important um, around chasing invoices, inception, exceptions, um, discrepancies and errors, responding to suppliers, right? These are all things, again, from streamlining operational efficiency that we think a bot will be really helpful in, in helping our customers uh, do their business better. If you could build your ideal bot, what would that bot be? Mine would probably sort through my email inbox and decide uh, the urgency of each piece and um, streamline my my messages a little bit. Good one. Um, you know, and forward the ones where they're supposed to go, right? So my son is in the college process, right? So I think my ideal bot right now would be something around um, helping me to um, keep all of that organized as well as reach out and help me to assemble that to-do list based on the universities that he's looking at. I think we're good. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye.